Hi, I'm Steven and today I'm going to be doing another different video. I'm going to be doing a mantle which is a royal cape for Call Me Chris from TikTok. Okay, so this is what I've got so far. So I've made a kind of practice piece. I've made a frame from the kind of measurements that I could get because she gave me, she only gave me a height. So I had to get, find friends who were the same height and get like a, a, a data sheet to get the right measurements so I could get it to fit. Um, but yeah, so this is the first one. Uh, the reason it's a mantle is because it has two parts. Uh, I'll show you some pictures just like on screen. So the way I've seen it is it seems like it would be easier in two parts of having the cape part and then having something that goes over the top. What I'm gonna do because it's like duck wars um, I've got duck feathers which will be tied together and I'm gonna layer this part and make it into a big kind of fluffy part so it makes sense for it to be separate and I've also decided that I'm not gonna just make a test piece and waste it so I made a hood that kind of like is like a sagged hood so it looks kind of pretty cool and I'm gonna attach that later after I've decided what I'm going to do with the design work for this one. Uh, but yeah, I use this as a test piece to kind of find out all the problems and I'll show you them now. Okay, so the first problem that I forgot about, which was having it so it has its own shoulder section. So that's, I'm going to need to make a new strip. So I'm going to make it go round and then have a strip. Um, also it doesn't go very far down it just kind of goes straight down but I want it to trail a bit like a mantle would uh, so that's I'm gonna have to make it longer and ex and make a make it into four different pieces five different pieces yeah five different pieces also it's too thin so I'm gonna make it double layered and then put it in like a, a quilt design here is my first kind of sketch idea where I've kind of gone okay this separated it into two parts this is going to be the color that's going to be the design going on the inside and the outside uh, this is going to have ducks all over it like little ducks and um, yeah then I made another design of how I'm going to actually make it uh, but yeah that was for the test piece and those are the kind of stats but I need to change them because it's now more pieces so I'm going to have to redo this all, but use it as a kind of a template. But yeah, let's just kind of get on with it and see where it goes. Okay, so the first one I made out of a material that's kind of pretty big. It's about the, uh, I'd say it's a single bed. But yeah, um, for two layers and making it bigger, I'm not only going to need the same again. I'm going to need one double bed another double bed and then I have a third double bed uh, sheet to as a kind of backup I think I'm gonna need it though seeing as I'm doing two layers I'm gonna have it tapering out but yeah <laughs> the first step I need to do is kind of wash these because they've been using they've been used as dust sheets so yeah I'm gonna wash them and then I'm gonna come back in the morning after they've been dried and everything like that Okay, so they're clean now, so now I'm gonna redesign the cape to get it so it works how I want it to work. Okay, so one of the main problems is that the shoulder ends there, but it still has this bit hanging over. It should be riding higher up, but it can't because it's just kind of too compressed here. So it has this little pointy bit. So what I've designed is this, so it comes in, so then it, kind of folds like that and then I can just kind of pin those bits in to make it look a lot more smooth as for the rest of it it doesn't have enough drag on it so what I've designed is I've made it longer at the back this is now going to be five pieces for one side but I need two sides so I can do the front and the back for the different designs so I've made it so 
it's five foot here on both on the front sides then it goes to six foot six and then i need a converting piece which is going to be three foot long which is going to help it have a little bit more drag as well okay so here i am kind of cutting out the first piece and right so as you can see it's just going to take way too long if i'm just going to time lapse all of this so that was one piece time lapsed i need to make 10 pieces so it's not going to be worth me time lapsing all of them and then showing you so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to do a transition of me to cutting it just just when it's done and cut out i'll do the first five and then i'll redo it over again once i'm happy with the first five so yeah who knows what's going to happen All done. Oh yeah, that's a that's a nice line, isn't it? Oh wait, I was supposed to chop on the other side. Hopefully, I can make it still work because I've now used all my material. Okay, so now I'm gonna try and piece it all together and sew it all together. I'm gonna do the inside first and then I'm going to do the outside, then I'm going to piece it together. I'm not going to do the uh, bottoms of it until I can put them both together and kind of make sure that they're perfectly in line. So yeah. Okay, here I am uh, lining everything up to put the first two pieces together. Um, uh, I think I broke a lot of needles in this project actually, and uh, not need yeah, needles and the pins to put it in um yeah it's just a very slow process it takes a lot of time <laughs> and then here i am lining it up and going through to sewing it i didn't put it all the way along and in like retrospect i should have shouldn't have put them so close because putting them that close just meant that i did a little bit and was constantly pulling them out and then putting them back in again but yeah, uh, in terms of keeping them in line, that's probably the best way of doing it. Uh, I'm not a tailor or a seamstress or whatever, so it's all a big learning curve, but yeah. Okay, so this is the first one. I've shown the time lapse. And yeah, I think it's gonna go pretty well. I had a moment of, will this work? <laughs> but that's where the shoulder's gonna be. That's going to be the end of the shoulder. So after the shoulder, it trails back like so. It's going to have a lot of trail on it, surprising amount. But that's mainly because I wanted to add a foot and a half on the back. So I don't know what I was expecting. But yeah, I think from the way I've looked at it, it's I've managed to get it to work, which I'm pretty happy about. Okay, so here we go. Um, I've not put all the top seams together yet because I'm going to paint it. But to give an idea of how it kind of drags, it has quite a nice angle. I don't know if you can see this seam and that seam, but that's going to be where it drags from. So it goes down and out. Yeah, it goes out that far and even further actually. But yeah, at the bottom, there's different size differences i don't know if you can see that um but yeah that's why i'm kind of leaving it and finishing it at the end so what i'm going to do is i'm going to paint it and then i'm going to put the bottoms on get it all the same size and then sew it together as i showed before i'm going to be using uh red and yellow i'm going to put a duck pattern on the inside so I've got my yellow and I've got my red. I don't think this is going to be nearly enough red. So it might add a few days on while I wait and get a couple more or I'll just get them on prime. I'm also thinking of what to do with the test piece. But yeah, still don't have an idea for that. Okay, here I am just drawing out the duck. I used a projector to um, get a rough drawing with some pencil because pencil's not really going to show up massively, especially when it's got paint going all over it. 
uh yeah i think i did this pretty much all right um going over the edges first giving them a thicker line so it's more defined then i just kind of throw some paint on there spread it around with a paintbrush because at a certain point do using the little nozzle just doesn't work and here we go more spreading more spreading more spreading i put red around it i think in the next shot you'll see that but i don't think i recorded it for some reason but yeah okay so here it is with the red around it i'm gonna fill in all the rest of the red once uh, i've got more red paint coming and here i am just carrying on with the red paint while i still have whatever's left carry on filling it um yeah this took a couple of days i think it took seven bottles of paint uh very <laughs> a ridiculous amount and that was purely because i used i wanted to have the duck in there which is thinking about it it's on the inside nobody is going to see it apart from chris but i think it's still a cool feature for chris i would do it differently but for this time i'm completely happy with how it turned out and how i used more paint than i probably should have because tie dyeing it that kind of dye would have worked better do you mind okay so it says once i've painted everything that i need to put um a hot iron with steam over the top of it so this is going to take a long time but um yeah i'm gonna have to do it but at least it will take some of the um any crinkles out of it Oh yeah, and you can't touch it with the iron, so it's not just like normal ironing, you just have to hover it over. Which is, it makes it look like you're just pretending to do ironing. Not that I do lots of that anyway, but, you know, I digress. How long is it being recording? Three minutes. Yeah, I know. This is gonna take longer than I can do record for, so um, <laughs> I'll see you once it's done. Okay, so I've ironed it all, and now I need to decide how I'm kind of sewing these all together. What I think I'm gonna do, and I probably will do, is do all the top bits by themselves, because they've got curves in them, like here and here and then do all the rest of it so as i'm sewing it together or oh, i might have to do down to here hmm. no no i'm gonna do them but both individually and then put another line in afterwards line of stitching going all the way around because i need to connect these before i put them together so i need to do the shoulders before i put them on put them together <laughs> Uh, I am not in any way, shape, or form um, a sewing person. What are they called? Okay, see, <laughs> seamstress or tailor. Um, yeah, here's me doing the all the outer edges. I think. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's the shoulders. That took a while in and of itself. Um, yeah. Then I'm going around the neck. And here is the next neck, I think. I don't know if I filmed all of it, because when it comes to the longer parts, it's very quick. But for a time lapse anyway, in comparison to doing... That's the other shoulder. Yeah, but in comparison... All right, so I've done all of that. I've put all the seams together, hemmed it all the way along, and the bottom as well. So now it's time to connect the two pieces together by going along the hem again with the sewing machine. Okay, yeah. So here I am connecting the two pieces of fabric together. I start off at the top because I, I don't know, I think that's the best way to do it because then you're working away from the top. So the bottom's gonna be where the biggest amount of mistakes are because you've pushed them all down to the bottom. And then because I've left everything undone, it comes to a point where I can very easily and quickly just put them together, fix all any mistakes, chop chop to a general scale, and it made it did make it easier, and I think that was a pretty good method of doing it. Alright, so um 
I've sewn it all together and I've put a grid formation onto it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go along with this yellow um, string thread I'm going to go along with this yellow thread and um, connect all the gridding up so then it makes it oh, pardon me um, so then it makes it um, a lot firmer and the two pieces don't move around as much. I've gone for yellow because as we have the um, duck on the inside we don't want to put red cross I don't or I've decided I don't want red cross hatching on it I'd rather have the rest of it have yellow on as and then the ducks are gonna be on here so it's gonna seem like there's little lines connecting them which I think will look better as opposed to having red ones which blend in but then there's red crossing all over the duck so yeah that's what i'm going to do and uh hopefully it works <laughs> yeah so here i am doing it. it it was a lot more complex than i thought it would have been i i mean admittedly it's because you have to crumple up all the material i don't have the right bench and stuff like that so I'm working against the material the whole time. On top of this, because this is now a thick, thick material, because the paint made it so thick, it's really tough to get through. So I don't know how, if I film all of it or film just one direction. Okay, so that's um, done. Now it's time for the ducks. <laughs> yeah, so this um, is supposed to be, this is a 48 pack instead of a 50 and when I worked it out I need 150 so I had to buy an extra pack so um, I don't know maybe leave in a comment what I should do with these other ducks <laughs> I don't know but yeah time to put them on let's go okay here I am putting four on honestly leave a comment because this takes this one took so long um, this is just putting four on you can kind of see the pattern I'm going for you'll see in the next shot the finished thing but yeah please leave a comment of what I should do with the rest of them I've still got them they're going to be basically in stored until I have an idea okay so yeah um, I've done all of this all I need to do is do a finishing piece doing a finishing piece with some leather which I don't think I'm going to do on camera because I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it myself yet but yeah I used two and um, two thirds of a bag, so almost three bags. So it's less than I expected, but I can always add a few more. I could, like at the top, for instance, I could put some more, like dotted them around or whatever I want to do. So I have the option to do that, or I can save them for another video, see if she wants to do something again. But yeah, all I've got to do is finish off where the fastenings go for around the neck. And now all I need to do is do the feather top piece, which will take a long time. <laughs> but yeah, it's all fun. Right, let's do it. Clap at me. Um, this took so long. I had to, this is a, before I came up with another method of putting it into a big tray, working through the tray. But the basic premise is I get five, which are the right length, I then tie them together before I can put them onto the um, main piece. So yeah, it takes a long time. There was like three over 300 of them. I mean, every single dot on that piece of fabric is where a feather goes to kind of give an idea of how many there are. Every single dot, that's five feathers in a cluster then tied on. So satisfying seeing it go at such a quick speed because for me it took so long All right, so I've put all the feathers on now. I just need to paint it. I am going to use One sec. I'm going to use the same paint that I used for the actual yellow so then it doesn't look too different However, this is going to be too thick because I'm going to airbrush it on so it's nice and light and try and keep it as soft as possible so I'm going to use a lot of um, paint thinner so then I can get it into the airbrush and paint it. And then I'm going to use the stand to put it on. So when I'm painting it, I can kind of work with it and not have to hold it. So yeah. All right. Yeah, I've airbrushed it. 
I uh, brushed the paint and I didn't show it because um, my family were here so I was just talking to them. Um, but yeah, it, it's made it a bit more rough but it's nothing that major like it might even soften up after a while. But yeah, it adds a bit of colour to it, it takes away from being white and then it will blend and make it look um, like it blends with where there isn't any feathers because there's the edges and stuff like that and I can't, pardon me, I can't put them there. Um, but yeah, I, w I didn't want to overdo it so I wanted to have different bits of texture, different bits of colour so you can still see the white coming through. Um, but yeah, I wanted it to look quite natural as well. So now all I have to do is finish off the cape with some leather for where I'm putting the attaching the strings to. Uh, so then it can be tied up and now I think I'm done. Yep, that's it. And then I'm done. Okay, so the first thing I need to do with this, um, I need to choose which colour leather. Uh, so I've got a slightly red tan, um, a matte, more matte red tan and black. So I'm testing it up and I've got to kind of decide which one I think looks best. I'm not too sure, so I'm going to play about, have a look and come to a decision and then do it and then I'll be back once it's done. So it has taken me 173 hours to make this over 19 consecutive days. It's cost me about £104 in like products like paint, feathers, uh, the ducks and about 80 quid in postage which is quite a lot but I don't know I think it's worth it but yeah so here is the finished product um, yeah I think I'm gonna go outside and do some uh, camera stuff so that'll probably be on screen now uh, and here is the Captain Canada uh, Lady Canada, I don't know what it's going to be called, but yeah, here's that as well. Here it is now. Oh, wow, very cool. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm also going to put in Jaffa Cakes because I asked her and she says she hasn't tried them because this is a very British thing. She's seen them in like the British section of the food shop and I'm also putting in a bit of a letter just kind of saying hi how are you kind of thing and some personal stuff as well but yeah um, I, I might be back to film a reaction because I asked her to do a reaction to it so um, yeah if it's worth reacting to then I'll start the camera again uh, but yeah if not then it will be there'll just be a bit of video at the end of her reacting to it or using it or whatever and yeah that's going to do it for this video please give it a like please subscribe please leave a comment on what video i should make next and i will see you in the next one peace she hasn't sent me anything yet and there's nothing on her social medias so i assume she hasn't got it and it's due to the postal service but Maybe she'll show it in a couple of days or something. So, yeah, go check her out. She's pretty awesome. I think she's pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> yeah.